Hey guys, how's this man? Don't forget to follow the Twitter, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to make some serious dough. I have the secret to success. It's called Stay in School Kids. Do not listen to Nick, NFT Nick, ETH. So what am I doing with my life? Not a lot. But at least I'm not trying to scam people. This derpity derp. Hold on, help if fucking sound work. What? I can't hear ya! Why has he got such a Derplington face? I don't care. I'd rather not look like that than have five billion bucks in the bank. So if you're not seeing this new man, he is a new man on the internet who enjoys explaining and telling us how he got so rich and made so much money selling NFTs and dog shit like that. Now, uh, pardon me. If you're like me, you're not very intelligent and you choose just to not get involved with things that aren't very uh, simple to follow. But the best part about Nick the Dick are community notes, context. I love this stuff. It's so good. I saw one the other day about Sydney Sweeney's boobs are not that big and the comments were, yes, they are. And it had a link to her Instagram. Bada bing, bada boom. The answers we need as a community are being answered. So thank you, Elon Tusk. But read this. It is visible from Google Maps Street View that this is a heliport where New York City helicopters tours originate. So he's Fucking lying. He's pretending he's got a helicopter. I'm about to hop on my helicopter to board my private jet for a meeting in Los Angeles. Next thing y'all gonna tell me is I don't own my helicopter and that the pilot ain't my full-time employee, Sergio. Choose rich. Choose rich, guys. You have two options in life. Poor man, rich man. Why are you, why, you know, it's simple. Yes, no. It's like in a video game. You go up for yes, down for no. Why aren't you going up for rich path, bro? Are you lame? NFT Nick is not happy with you, motherfucker. But today I'm just going to uh, have a stalk. The community notes haters are saying this isn't my heliped. Exclamation mark. Whose is it then? You tell me, dog. Who the fuck is it? I don't know. It's probably like everyone in New York has a helipad. You know what I mean? Like, there's not enough room for driving. You would get a taxi or you fly to work. Everyone knows that. I can't believe it's choose rich. <laughs> you know, you could do anything. You could have some fantastic one-liners, you know, really make something mesmerizing like, I'm rich, you're poor, don't smell like a whore. Bang. Oh, damn. I'm sorry, I won't say that again. But I just thought we'd have a look at Nick the Dick, NFT Nick or NFT Nicholas. That's what his mother calls him. And we'll see what this guy's smoking because I don't think it's anything that is legal and it's certainly not something we want to be putting in our pipe. So the community notes haters are back in full force saying this is from a shared theater. Good morning, haters. Yo, so y'all trying to say that my- Yo, y'all trying to say. This guy's like an episode of South Park character. Like, he honestly is like, Yo, guys, what's up? You trying to say I'm fake? Look at me, guys. I'm fucking real. I wear sunglasses inside I'm that real. This is definitely, this is what Andrew Tate's been warning about, bro. The Matrix. He is part of the Matrix. Trying to get his involved to buy his blue shades. It, you know, adds plus 10. It's like in Fallout, you know, when you put a pair of glasses and it's like plus five intelligence. Like... <laughs> This is what this guy's doing. He's trying to hold that big ass nose. God damn, that shit could hold you off a building, bro. He could balance with no arms, no hands, just using that nose. My chauffeur is an Uber driver? A Uber driver? Y'all keep hating while I kick off my weak screen in Scarface from my private movie theater in my New York City pied a terre. Remember, choose. That's how poor I am. I don't even know what word he said. Piera Terra or something like that. I don't even know what it is. What the f is it? Now, the community notes it is visible in the camera lens that my private movie theater is not, in fact, his, nor much private. It is a shared screening room with Brooklyn Point doubles as a performance space, giving residents and their guests the opportunity to showcase their talent. <laughs> oh, this guy's a fucking what? Ah, ah. Cur. Wanker. Inspiration because it's so baller. I'm a baller. It's like when you're in high school when people used to play football for like anyone other than their Sunday league team and they put baller in their fucking bio. Oh, this, this, you might see. Cheers to the haters from my New York City penthouse. So if you didn't know, he's got a New York City penthouse. What do you think? Do you like New York City penthouse? New York, Queens. Twitter haters who said I don't own my Miami house. I'll have you know I had the staff load up my jet so I could fly out here to my New York City penthouse pier. My New York City penthouse. Out there. Anyways, while you're click clacking on Twitter from your mom's basement, I'll be sitting here sipping from my $5,000 bottle of champagne. Remember, choose rich. Again, wise words, just choose it. The bottle Nick is holding is not 5G's and is $85. $85, mate, I could afford $85. Fall while saying my champagne ain't real. Keep questioning my life while you cry into your TV dinner, and my chauffeur brings me to three thousand dollar high tea service at Baccarat. Man, it looks like a fucking Uber. Like you can see on the wing mirrors, like you know, please rate me five stars. 
<laughs> what a fucking dick. What a dick this man is. It's one thing to lie, and then it's one thing to keep it going. Look, anyone can post a few graphs and tell you that Ethereum is going to make money, but everyone lost all their money. Everyone went poor on Ethereum. Do I chose rich every time from a clearly rented house. Uh, he claims to own it, but his suitcase is right in the corner. <laughs> so I guess he's... Uh... He's gonna struggle to explain that one. Why he has That's a valid point. Why do you so say my house is rented because there's a suitcase, bro? Why my staff handles my baggage, coffeezilla, choose rich. <laughs> my staff, my team, my entire team. Where the fools chose pro. Dude, this guy's not rich because if he did, he wouldn't have that donut stuck in his fucking throat. I mean, the size of that, you'd get that pulled out if you had fucking billions, wouldn't you? And if your grandma lent her a fucking Range Rover, like, good God. So, this is a an important message to the Twitter haters. So, I can't wait to hear what he has to say. That's so like, invigorating. Selfies on the boat. Anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Let's see what he says. seem to be amused by my success. I worked hard to buy that yacht. I worked hard to buy this big-ass house. Dude. Every time he speaks, I just, like, die. I honestly think I'm de-aging by about 12 years a second here. I ain't got long left at this rate. This man is an embarrassment, an absolute goon. A goon. Yeah, you're out there tweeting at me from your tiny little apartment and itty-bitty couch. Well, let me I can't lie, how does he know that? How does he know I'm on an itty bitty couch in my tiny apartment in the middle of fucking bumfuck nowhere? Not New York, not the high life, and I don't have my blue Ray Bans on. God damn no! Let me tell you, I made a mindset shift. I chose rich every time. So, what life are you gonna choose? One where I get to take the piss out of people like you. Why has he got so many sunbeds as well? You know what I mean? This guy does not have more than three friends tops. You, no one wants to hang out with people like this. I don't care if you're gonna buy me and everything. You speak and act like this. I ain't fucking coming round to your house to play Wii Sports Resorts, bro. That's not happening. I ain't coming round to sit in your pool. That ain't happening, dog. Unless I'm severely pissed, drunk, off my head, not concentrating, not thinking. He has got a cool tree, though. Look at that. You could jump in the pool, though. That's sick. I might go have a go if you invite me. They said that Moonbirds wasn't a Required. They said cool cats would stay independent. They said Filecoin wasn't a buy at five dollars. They said D God would get a twenty. Does anyone under is he pissed? Like what do you understand what he said there? I was actually trying to listen and he's stuck in the validator. Dude, no one who's rich looks like that. Come on. Are you leading with integrity? This isn't funny. You think this funny, son? Even his three... See, I told you, we had four friends. One's behind the camera and three's are there. Pretending that this guy owns this house and shit like that. It's a fucking joke. He man's even got a stripper pole. He has hobbies. This guy ain't rich. He goes out on Friday nights fucking shaking his booty, man. Shout out to the f file coin. Fuck it. In conclusion, guys, this guy's an absolute scamming, scumbag, dick fucking riding hillbilly twat. I would love to spend five minutes with this guy and just pluck his brain. Ask him what he's decided to do. I want to see his bank cards. I want to see everything about this kid. How is he even pretending community notes has ruined this man's career if anyone thinks this guy's actually you know and then imagine like liking this guy dude nicky gonzalez this is my boy mateo matthews and oh my God. if you were rich you would not be doing this you would not need to do this you won't embarrass yourself on the internet anymore does it get see he's on like the cheapest flight possible there he's not flying you know multi-millionaire on his private jet dude fuck this kid fuck ethereum Fuck Bitcoin. Fuck all that shit. I don't understand. This fucking donkey, absolute Nick O'Neill, fucking co-founder of Nifty Portal. It's a scam. It's an absolute scam. And this man deserves to be absolutely castrated chemically. Free NFTs almost daily. Sign up. Does it cost money to sign up? Oh, they want my email. You can get fucked, mate. I'm not getting your your spam. But yeah, sorry about this, guys. It's been very hateful. But I think we should, you know, I, I mentioned it before. We should bring back bullying and hate speech. Only towards idiot white people, though. You know what I mean? Then it doesn't count. Fuck Nick the dick. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe, because that was a, a pretty cool uh, experience. I'm glad you were uh, involved for me on that ride. Uh, it did crash at the top, and we have lost both our legs, but I certainly had a great time. I hope you did too.